Welcome back to the birthday special. We're playing Jeopardy 25th Anniversary Edition for the NES. And it's currently my turn. I have $4,700. I'll go with games for $600. American Indians made them by dipping gourds into latex and curing them with smoke. George. No answer. two kinds of alcohol. What is gin rummy? <laughs> Games for a thousand. Some ancient Chinese battles were halted and played out with this complex board game. George. Go. Okay. Keep going. General is 200. In 1951, he told Congress, I now close my military career and just fade away. Who was Douglas MacArthur? Or, as my history professor called him, D Mac. General's for 400. to lead a division ashore on D-Day. He was the son and namesake of a president. Theodore Roosevelt Jr. Generals for 600. The West Virginian who was the who has the second highest general of the Confederacy. Bonnie. Thomas Stonewall Jackson. Oh, okay. You're at $1,000, Bonnie. Keep going. General's 800. In 1968, he took over the U.S. Vietnam Command. Bonnie. Like that's gonna help. Looking for Creighton Abrams. Creighton Abrams. Lesser known names, 200. Babe Ruth's appropriate first name since the Yankees let him do it. Uh, what was George? George Herman Ruth. Lesser known names for 400. Galileo's last name, it sounds like it's first. What is Galilei? Galileo Galilei. Spelled it, but I corrected myself. Lesser known names for 600. Gandhi was often called Mahatma, though his actual first name was this. What was. What is. Mohandas. I'll take uh, lesser known names for 800. Author Dante's last name. What is Allegheny? Food Trivia 600. The first was Maxime, introduced by General Foods in 1964. Bonnie. Freeze dried 
coffee. Freeze dried coffee. No, not familiar with that. Must have known Ninja Thousand. The last name of Dion, who sang with the Belmonts. George. Demucci. Okay. Food trivia for a thousand. Got one of the two daily doubles. We're going one thousand dollars. Blue bank cheese that must wrap it in caves and near its name. It's like French town. It's Roquefort. You got it, George. Generals for a thousand. The other daily double. Twelve hundred eighty. The World War One French general who predicted another war within twenty years, and it's Ferdinand Folk. Folch. I don't know how you say his name, but either way, George has the lead. Food trivia eight hundred. The sturgeon treat was once given away with nickel beer. What is caviar? Now I'm in the lead by twenty dollars. The movies for six hundred. The Steve Martin movie told that dead men don't wear. What is plaid? 1982, I believe. 800. James Colburn struck sparks as a secret agent in this 1966 spy food. Spy food. What is our man Flint? This E.M. Forster 1924 novel won two Oscars as a 1984 film. What is A Passage to India? So at the end of Double Jeopardy, I have 8,700, George 6,280, Bonnie 800. Okay, I'm gonna try for 3,000, no, 4,300. <coughs> That'll put me at $13,000 if I get it right. Bonnie's gonna go 400. George, 3,140. Okay. The category is sporting events. Here's the clue. This yearly event has the largest single day attendance in sports. What is the Super Bowl? No, it's the Indianapolis 500. My only hope is that George gets it wrong. did not, so I lost. So I'm going to finish in second place with $4,400. Bonnie goes up to $1,200 and George goes up to $9,420. But we'll see you all for the next segment in just a little bit. First we'll close it out with this and then we'll close it out with the other music.